Hey, it's Megzi and welcome. Today we are playing Dreamfall Chapters. Um, I don't know much about this game, I had a little bit, I heard it was supposed to be good. Um, just reading from the back, it's set in like two different worlds. One, a dark cyberpunk vision of the future and the other, a magical fantasy realm. And you follow Zoe and, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, Kim? Um... So it sounds interesting, so I'm going to give it a try and um, let's tell me what you guys think. Um, I've been doing this thing as well. Um, so what we're going to do is we are going to take shots for this. Um, every 10 minutes we will take some shots. Um, if you're legal age, you may join me if you like. I'd be happy if you join me in some drinks. I already had three shots. So, you know, because I just did a video like this doing the same thing with the shots. But you do not have to catch up to that. <laughs> not at all. Just start at one shot and keep up with me from there. Don't try and catch up to what I've already drunk. Unless you want to. That's really up to you. It depends how much you can have on how much drink you can handle or whatever. I'm already a little tipsy, I think. Um, anyway, so let's start on that shot. Ready? I've got some vodka here. Right, pour in the shot now. And here we go. Three, two, one, cheers. two worlds. Our world, the world of science, and Arcadia, the world of magic. Dreams connect these parallel worlds, but a dark force threatens the very fabric of dreams. Zoe Castillo holds the power to shape dreams and save us from the undreaming, but she is trapped in a place called the Storytime. Kian Alvane is destined to play an important role in the war to come but he faces execution for treason against his own people. They are both about to be reborn. A new story is about to begin. Their paths will intersect, and at the end of their journey, they will face the thief of dreams. Hmm, that's interesting. I'm really excited to play this. It looks really interesting. So, um... I'm really interested to see what it's like. Shots are getting to me already. <sighs> well, that was technically my fourth. So, in a couple of hours, and maybe an hour, something like that. Book one, Dreamful Chapters Reborn. beautiful and she is hauntingly beautiful as well 
kind of creepy, no offense to or him or her or uh, I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> Is this our funeral? Like, the funeral of the person we'll be playing as, or...? I think we're getting reborn here. That guy looks a little bit like Chris Pine. Just a little bit. Kind of confused. Oh, that's bright. Chapter one, Nedra. They say that every story has a beginning and an end. That isn't always the case. Some stories simply stop. My name is Zoe Castillo. I'm dying. I've been in a coma for over a year. The doctors don't believe I'll ever wake up again. My mother did this too. She put me oh. here so that I wouldn't be able to tell my story, so that she could keep her secrets. It worked. The world is addicted to dreams, to dream time. It's just entertainment. They have no idea what the dream machine is really for and what it's doing to the world. They don't know that someone is stealing their dreams, using them to reshape reality. So, if I'm in a coma, how am I talking to you? The thing is, my body may be here in a hospital, but my mind... My mind is elsewhere. This is the story time. It's the place between. And it's my home now. This place where all stories begin and end, including mine. Hmm. Okay, 
if you were in a coma then who was at the funeral at the start? Okay, and on that note, it is time for our next shot. <sighs> this should be your second shot. This is my fifth shot, <laughs> technically. Technically, this is my fifth shot tonight. Second shot of the video, but my fifth shot. So, I'm pouring it. Ready, guys? Three, two, one, shoot. Oh, that's strong. I'm not trying to take much more. Oh. Okay, let's continue. So, just to move. That was taken when Reza and I were still dating. Who's Reza? A lifetime. And, well, sort of was. Huh. Wonkers. My old Wattilla. What's a Wattilla? People keep bringing flowers. So funereal. Dad, Gabrielle, stops by every day. Keeps apologising. Wish he wouldn't. <clears throat> that machine is all the stand between me and six feet under. It feeds my comatose body a fun cocktail of life saving narcotics. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sleeping Beauty. Coma as a fashion statement? No, oh, that's all. Oh. But I honestly do look better on my deathbed. No, you don't. You're really cute. Don't, don't, don't throw yourself short. What going? Oh, we are not Wonkers. Wonkers is an autonomous robot toy manufactured by Roscoe and those for a childhood friend. I guess that's how you get through a previous adventure, but it has been powered off since then. Is there a previous game before this that I'm, I haven't played? Probably. Spirits. What's this? People dreaming, trapped inside their own night terrors. Story time. I don't know how long I've been here. Six months? Nine? Hmm. Interesting. So, what does this do? Creepy, not gonna lie. Someone's having a nightmare about a dying child. That must be absolutely terrifying. This is a dream. Your baby will be okay. You sent them away before I could see them. Sorry. Kid getting left out? I know that feeling. 
What does that say? Oh, she must be terrified. Poor girl. Okay, she's got a light now. Maybe I need to... Nope. 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 Oh my gosh, I need instructions. Okay, it said we can look with light stuff under here. Bringer of light. Emissary of electricity. The mighty torch. Oh, okay. Whoever wired her to a dream machine should be locked away for a very long time. Right, guys, it is time. I cannot remember if I took my last shot. I don't think we did. It is time for our last and our third and final shot. Ugh. Okay guys, here we go, pouring it. Sorry I didn't keep to quite the times on that one, but um, I'm a little bit drunk. <laughs> okay, I poured it, ready? Three, two, one, two. <coughs> oh. Oh. I've still got a little bit left. I'm going to take one more shot. Nah. You guys can join me or not on this one. Completely up to you. This will be my seventh shot, so... I actually have like a quarter shot, so... Can you do Okay, let's continue. Um, without me, she'll be trapped here. She needs my help. Can't believe her mother would. Eh? Can't believe. Come on. Light? Light could work, but I don't think there's anything to draw on there. That thing is darkness through and through. It would need to come from somewhere. It's hiding. Stupid, smart, tentacle thingy. It's too quick for me. Huh. What does that do? Light, yeah. Good idea, but not from that. It's too quick. It hides before I can destroy it. Hey, yeah, it's working. Cool. We did it. Yay. Okay. No, no, don't get too close. It will take you. You're safe now. Thank you. But I don't know how to get back home. I don't know where my mummy is. She's on the other side of the wardrobe waiting for you. It's... it's scary. Come on. Do you use a dream machine? Mum makes me. She says it keeps me occupied. Then she has time to play with hers. The next time she does that, you need to say no. She won't like that. Maybe not, but you tell her it's dangerous, that it gives you nightmares. I could tell Daddy. He doesn't live with us, but I talk to him all the time. You do that. Now go through and you'll wake up again. See you, little girl. Thank I think you. you're a little girl. What's your name? Zoe. Zoe. And remember, no dream time. I might not be able to find you again. Oh, we're doing good. Isn't it nice to stop? Yes, it seems like it does. Uh, what are we doing? Go back into the... Ooh, who's that over there? Oh, 
people thought, what's going on out there? More and more people are getting caught in loops. I can't keep up. I thought the dream machines weren't dangerous anymore. I thought we took care of that. If not, then... Hello, Zoe. Look, I'm trying to help them all, and... and... There are too many, and they're nightmares. They're getting worse. You have to go home. The character unlocked. The Vagabond. The Vagabond is the mysterious world of story time, a world of dreams, where all stories begin and end. So he has encountered the Vagabond on a few occasions, but she still knows little about him. He appears to know more than he's willing to tell Zoe, and he may have less control over this dream realm than she does for it. For better or worse, this is my home now. The person I used to be is, is gone forever. There's no home to go back to, and, and I don't want to be the person I used to be. I have a purpose here. If I do wake up, I'll be lost. But, but there's nothing there for me. There's, there's no one. Besides, I'm needed here. What will happen if I just abandon them? Their night terrors are symptoms of a larger disease. As long as the disease itself is alive and spreading, those people will keep coming back. There are no second chances. Every choice leads to the same outcome and my actions have no real consequences, so... I'm not ready to wake up, face myself again. I can't do it. The dream is being tainted. The world is getting sicker. They all need you. I don't understand why I need it. I did everything I could already. I just want to be left alone. Isn't it enough that I'm making a difference here in story time? This is where I belong. I'm in control here. Out there, I have no power. What difference can I make? There is a great power within you. The power to set things right in your world and all others. You saved your reality once, Zoe. This time, all of the worlds, all of story time, all of time is at stake. When you wake up, this will all be a dream. And that dream will quickly fade. Soon, it will be forgotten entirely. Unless you fight to remember it, you must open your heart and mind to messages from those who know what to do. I don't know. I'm not omniscient, Zoe. Much is hidden from me. I can see all the threads as they are woven, but the greater weave itself is too large for me to see. I'm too close, and even here, some of the past is obscured. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, thank you for giving up with the drinking if you drunk, drunk the shots with me and even if you didn't, thank you still. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. If you want more, just leave me a comment, leave a like. Um, okay, thank you very much. I'm Lexi, signing off.